Hi everyone, Jim with CD Nova Instruments again. And what we're looking at today is the Shank Cab 820 computer. And this computer will connect to the Shank vibration balancing beds. And what we're going to look at is some of the software features in this, in this menu system that they have here. In the top left, they have a rotor file. You just simply, this is a touch screen, you simply touch. So this is where you would open your rotor file, save it. And we have printing. In here it's got production rotor data, balance report, machine settings, configuration, calibration values. You have a settings screen for units, language, advanced options, stats, exports, data paths. You have a service menu, configure calibration, service center, logbook, machine logbook, automation, state, Windows tools. Uh, process for options, like the rotor, spe rotor specific calibration and compensation, these is, this is where you would access them if they were turned on in the software. Level two, so there's three levels you can have in this unit. Level two has been accessed on this one, but we can go all the way up to level three. There's a help menu right there, and have a contents. And they have a little bit of information in here about the menu functions, the rotor results, basic information exit that you can look at the rotor setup screen in the bottom left so once you've got your rotor set up in the balancing bed you can get a tape measure measure the radius of the shaft your ABC measurements you can actually touch these areas and enter them in numerically and then save it hit enter so I can just escape out I go over to R2 I could enter my value here 555 five, five, escape out same thing with uh, measurement C, and I could enter in here, Let's escape out. You can set the RPM right here, uh, drive details, set speed, current speed. Uh, you have the tolerance here, selected planes, correction planes. You have correction method. Correction plane one, correction plane two. They're both set to remove mass. You can change that to add if you wanted to. Same over here. You can change it to add. You can touch mass. You can go in to look at polar. You can do components instead of polar. You can look at options. In here, they've got where you would turn on the rotor specific calibration and the compensation. This is where you would actually turn them on in the software. And up here, they have a service center menu. It tells you when the next certification date is due. Uh, storage space protocols, handle disk space, hardware tests, operating hours, a bit of information about the balancing. So we can go back to measure and we're back to the main screen with the uh, electronic protractors on this unit. So that is the Schenk Cab 820, just a quick overview. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thank you.